So the question is which 5 habits will help me to improve? Okay, first one, wake up before sunrise. This is very common actually. Everyone knows among the healthiest, happiest and the most successful people in the world, whether you get any other habit or not, this is one habit that you will definitely get. When you wake up in the morning, you will see how big the day has become. There is actually a kind of blessings in the morning. We all know that and we all can feel that. Then speak good or remain silent. It is actually a hadith. The more you talk, the more mistake you make. As simple as that. You don't need to comment on every single matter on the face of the earth. Gautam Buddha has a beautiful saying, only speak when your words will be more beautiful than your silence. Staying debt free. See, who has one tuck of debt? Technically, is poorer than a beggar. Do you want to lower yourself than a beggar? If you don't want to, always try to stay debt free. Especially try to stay away from interest bearing debts. Asking for money from others is nothing but a bad habit. Now, you can say, I need money for this, I need money for that. How can I get money without debt? And who will give money without interest? Will you give me money? Look, whether I give you money or not, one thing you have to remember. If you cannot afford it, you should not buy it. That's it. You cannot afford it, you should not buy it. That's still the deal. If you cannot afford it, you should not buy it. Case dismissed. Many people in the world are suffering in their life just because at some point in their lives, they brought something that they could not afford at all. Here is a short play from Trinity Church where you will get the same message beautifully. Uh, hey, hon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah. Uh, what is it? It's a... Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a... Uh, listenatively... Uh, mm. But at that price, <laughs> we sure must need it, huh? <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, it is. Uh, but we are already deep in debt. Oh, don't worry, hon. So we've got our credit cards. Oh, you're so right. How hey, silly of me. That's why you married Let me. Let me get the phone to call. Hi, operator. Yeah, I'd... W hey, hmm? do you have money for this? Well, not right now, but I'm sure we will someday. <laughs> well, didn't you say you were in debt? Oh, we are indeed. I can never get our accounts to add up. It's like we're in a hole that we can never get out of. Credit card debt. Will it ever end? <clears throat> Girlfriend... I'm here to help. Uh, we sure could use it. Yeah, we've even Perfect. tried those 1-800 debt consolidation numbers. Uh, taking out loans to help with the payments. High interest in everything. Uh, sharks. <laughs> Here's the bad news. You're not alone. Millions of Americans suffer with debt they cannot control. Here's the good news. I've created this new, unique program called Don't Buy Stuff you cannot afford. Let me see that. If you don't have any money, then you should not buy anything. That's right. Oh. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. Sounds confusing. No. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, this makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense. There's a whole section in here whole about section. how to buy expensive stuff with money you've saved. Yeah. Whoa, what are you... Money saved. See that? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Uh, Simple. Now, where would you get this saved money? Oh yeah, it doesn't grow on trees. Outlined. Chapter three. Chapter okay, three. what Chapter if I three. want something, but I don't have any money? Okay. You point. ready for this? You don't buy it. Where? You don't buy it. Well, what if you don't have the money to buy something? Shouldn't you buy it anyway? Yeah. No. Well, uh, now I am really confused. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Estoy confused. <laughs> All right. It's a little confusing. Just a little bit. At first. But come on, guys. You got to get this. Uh. You got to. Okay. okay. What if we have the money? Okay. Can we buy something? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay, take the money away. Same story. No. no. Whatever you do, do not have credit card debt. You shouldn't buy stuff when you don't have the money. Well, shouldn't you buy something first and then hope that you can pay for it Hope's later? That's a good thing. It's a spiritual fruit after all. 
No. 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 You have the money. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you buy it. Then, then you buy okay. it. You buy it. Yes, yes. You buy oh. it. Oh. That makes sense. Yes, then you but buy it. Shouldn't you, even if you don't have the money, buy it anyway? Yes, that's no. a credit No. 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 Well, why I, I not? Just, I give up. It's right here. It's in the book. It's one page long. Take my advice. It's priceless. And the book, it's free. Well, I like the sound of that. It's free. We could use our credit card. Yeah. <laughs> I don't don't waste. Okay, first we need to define what is waste. I always give an example in this regard and I will also give it today. That is, you have removed the fan and installed air condition. This is not a waste. This is prosperity. But there is no one in the room, but the fan is still running, then this is a waste. Whether it's money or time or energy or whatever, it has to be useful to someone or something. In the language of economics, something has to feel a need of someone. If not, then it is a waste. One of our teachers once said uh, that the Japanese use face tissue four times and we Bangladeshis throw away face tissue sometimes even before touching it. And that is why they are rich and we are poor. Now you can say that what's the price of a tissue? The price is not the main issue here. It's a matter of attitude. It's a matter of character. Someone who does not waste, even if he is given something for free, he still don't waste it. But unfortunately, the number of such people in our country is very low. Take what you need, as much as you need. But don't go for more unnecessarily. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Boni Israel, verse 26, that those who waste are the brothers of Shaitan, and Shaitan is ungrateful to his Lord. Do you want to be the cast brother of the cast Shaitan? And the last one, taking breaks in between work. This is called Pomodoro Technique. The first person who talked about this technique had a tomato-shaped alarm clock on his table that would ring after some time. In Italian, Pomodoro means tomato. I myself use this tomato technique. I always have a countdown timer on my desktop and laptop. I also give uh, it a name. As you can see, its name is Itkan. Itkan is an Arabic word, it means excellence. I have actually taken this word from a hadith. رسول الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم بقول شن إن الله يحب إذا عمل أحدكم عملا أن يتقنه. أرتاد الله سبحانه وتعالى بتشند كورين جي. تمادر كيو كونو كاز جودي كوري شيء الدنيا كاجو كآخرة تر كاجو. جي كيو كونو بالو كاج كوري بي كونو كاز كوري بي. شيء جنو شيء تكى إتقان الشاتة كوري. شندور بابي كوري. جوتها جوتة بابي كوري. شربت توم أباي كوري. This it can alarm floats on my screen every thirty minutes and tells me that I need to. Take a short break now so that I can come back into my work with the more it can. Since I practice this habit, I can tell you for sure that it is a very good practice to increase productivity. It is also good for your spine and eyes.